Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys cannot tell by the title below, I'm going to be doing an updating makeup routine for you guys, plus a little get ready with me because I'm going to be talking throughout this video as well. I'm also doing this video because I uploaded a video probably a couple days ago and it was a cooking with me video and you guys are not messing with it. So I decided to give you guys another upload, which is more of my normal content, if you know what I mean. So without further ado, let's get this video started. I already went ahead and moisturized my face with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Face Lotion. I love this stuff, you guys. It was gifted to me for Christmas, I believe. This stuff works wonders. And now once I moisturize my face, I usually go right in with concealer. I have been using the e.l.f. 16 hour camera concealer because listen, if you don't use this, you're missing out. This concealer is $6 in my local Walmart and you guys, this stuff works amazingly and it stays on all day. I use this for under my eyes, you guys. I don't really put a lot on because I don't really need a lot to be honest. And then I blend it in with my beauty blender and yes, it's dirty, okay? Let's mind your business. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And I really don't want this video to be long, so I'm probably gonna time lapse this. Now that I'm done with that, you guys, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, you guys. I love this powder, okay? Before, I did not go in with powder um, under my eyes. I actually used this tart. I think you guys have seen me use it before, but I used this little tart like powder foundation to go under my eyes. So this is one of the new things I've been using, but I think you guys seen me use this before. Maybe, I'm not, I'm not really sure. But I just dip my beauty blender in there and then I pack it, okay? I pack this thing under my eyes because it just, I don't know, it blends in so well and it sets it so well that I've just fallen in love with doing this, okay? And what's crazy is that it doesn't even look powdery when I put it under there either. It You really cannot tell that I have on any type of concealer or powder like at all. Now that I'm done with that, you guys, I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. I have been using the Morphe Brow Pomade to do this, you guys. As you guys can tell, I've used quite a lot of it. I still have my Anastasia Dip Brow, but I found this in my drawer, like out of a whim, and I have been using it since. I absolutely love this stuff. It stays on all day, but if I had to put it up against the Anastasia Dip Brow, hmm. I'm still gonna have Anastasia Rubber the Hills first, you guys. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. But this Morphe Dip Brow is really good and it's a really good cheap alternative. They're pretty much similar, but the Anastasia lasts longer. I'm gonna need a close up mirror for this, y'all, unless my eyebrows gonna be looking lopsided. Something that I found helps you guys is using a close-up mirror to really define things and then using a further back mirror to make sure your eyebrows are at least trying to look the same. That's just me personally. It helps, it works, but see if it works for you guys and try it out. Now I'm gonna go back in with my e.l.f. camo concealer and I only conceal the bottom. There are a bunch of girls out there who conceal the top and the bottom. I don't know why I don't, I just never did. I feel like it just really, I feel like it makes a difference. Like your eyebrows do look sharper, but I feel like I can make mine look sharp while just doing the bottom. The top is too much work for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm now done with my eyebrows, you guys. How do you guys think they look? Are they cute? Are they ugly? Let me know. 
Now I'm gonna go in and contour. Now I do this because I do not use a contour palette or a contour powder or liquid or anything like that to do my contour. I literally just use a darker concealer, which is also one of the new things I have been doing. I go in with the True Complexion HD Corrector, you guys. This is in the color, what color is this in? Hmm, it actually doesn't have a color, you guys. But I think this is probably the darkest color. And I just open it. It has one of these little squeezy things. I squeeze some pigment out, not pigment out, some product out. And I just go like that. And then I go in with the Real Techniques. I forgot what brush this is, but it's 200. <laughs> And I just blend that out and it contours pretty good for me. Now that I'm done with that, I go in with a blush that I actually took from my mom. This is another new thing that I have been using. And this is the Catrice Cosmetics blush. It says it is waterproof and sweatproof. Now, I haven't really tried that out, but I'm, I'm gonna trust it. This is in the color Burgundy. And I also go in with my Real Techniques brush in the number 400. And I just pack this on my cheeks because I love blush. I absolutely love this blush you guys it is it's not even funny just look at it look how natural that looks now i'm gonna go in with my maybelline great lash mascara this is also a new thing i have been using you guys i have never used this mascara before and i absolutely love it it keeps my lashes looking volumized and curly all day and it's the one mascara that i use that does not smudge throughout the day so i'm obsessed with this This mascara, you guys, is perfect for when I do not want to wear lashes, y'all. I have not been in the mood to wear lashes at all, and this, this does it for me. Now that I'm done with that, you guys, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite glosses right now. This is the Is Me New York lip gloss, and this is in the color, hold on. This is in the color Emma, you guys. I got this from my local beauty spa store, and I love it. It works really well, you guys. And this lip gloss, listen, it has gone through everything, and this stuff stays on. This is the final look, you guys. I also want to show off some jewelry real fast before I cut off this video. This is absolutely not sponsored at all, but I really want to show you guys my favorite new pieces that I got. The first one is this Buddha ring. I actually have two more of these. It came in a pack, but I got this from Forever 21 for $6.99, you guys, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And then I also got these two necklaces. This is Forever 21 with Purpose. <sighs> Look at that, you guys. It is so cute. I am going to put them on for you guys. And then this one is also from Forever 21. And it's just this really cute vintage necklace with two angels on it. I had to show you guys. They're too cute not to share. This is what they look like on you guys. They are so freaking pretty. I'm obsessed with these. And ignore this little necklace here. My mom gave it to me. It is not part of the video, but it's also cute. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you guys already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all of my social medias, which will be in the description box below. And don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so that you can be updated every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.